Hello everybody, welcome back to Hamfrags playing Bad North, the penultimate. That means second to last, right? The penultimate episode. Uh, where today, it's no more fun and games. Last time, we were just doing easy stuff. We were doing easy island, going back to, to all the islands we skipped back in the past to collect uh, money. But today, oh today, is when we go up against the final enemy type we have yet to encounter. This one right here with a question mark over his, his head. I know what it's gonna be. You've been telling me and I, I'm thankful for that uh, because I don't wanna go totally blindly into this. This is the crossbow archer. There are some on this little island here. This is the island I'm going to first just to get a taste of what they're like. Then after that, maybe I feel courageous and I'm gonna go to Scapley over here to collect a bunch of coins, uh, but also pretty flat island so that could potentially be very deadly, so I might not want to go there. I want to check out what they do first. And then, of course, maybe after that, I'll work uh, some more towards the final goal of getting to Vermland, where presumably we're also going to be encountering the crossbow archers. But that is not this episode. That is that's way far into the future of next episode. Right now, I think I want to continue to the next turn. And uh, before I go do anything stupid on Kunoi, I want to look at it and then go back to the shop and uh, spend some of those coins that I've been collecting. Now, uh, I was hoping for walls and walls I got. Uh, so this way, there are a couple of choke points, but uh, it's pretty open. This whole beach over here is just all open. There, there's a little closed off area here. Uh, and that is pretty much all that is closed off. I mean, there's this little door right down here, but other than that, everything seems pretty open. Um, so, pikes won't be very good here. Yeah, also, if you just look up here, I mean, we've got big guys, we've got shield guys, but I'm not, I'm... I might bring pikes, yeah, I'm gonna bring pikes, gonna be, bring Godric, but only that one pike. Anyways, let's just get back to the map. Nothing special uh, on that island. Uh, in terms of strategy, so I think I'll just go and start upgrading the four troops that are going to be my super soldiers. Wyman is the first one, but of course, Wyman is already fully upgraded, so that was an easy choice to make. And uh, the other easy choice that I didn't didn't speak about last time, but he's pretty easy uh, as a choice, is Fergus. Fergus uh, has that Warhorn, which is probably going to be real handy as a quick way to uh, regenerate or, re you know, recuperate or replenish uh, our troops on these islands where a lot of uh, troops, uh, enemy troops are going to be coming in. Uh, Fer Fergus is going to take some damage, but he can quickly just regenerate all those uh, or lost, uh, lost infantry troops just by using his Warhorn. I could potentially go and get this... In, uh, this upgrade so that he gains one extra use of the Warhorn per island. That would be pretty good, but he's already elite. I, and uh, First of all, I want to just upgrade everyone who's going to elite. So that means, Godric, I asked uh, you two commenters. <laughs> I know you're gonna comment. I, I, I just love that I can count on you commenting. And uh, you were pretty... Well, uh, Kaufman, you said... You, you told me to just go with what I was feeling. And I, I appreciate that, but I was asking uh, for some advice. So I'm gonna take the advice that I got from uh, uh, from Vincent Cheng. And uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go with Guthrick as my main pike guy. Uh, although, even, even though I've got uh, Elric over here, who's already elite uh, and has iron skin, Elric, uh, Godric has these mines, the explosives that I can really use to gain an advantage over these uh, incoming troops. So I'm gonna upgrade him to elite right now and here. Now, uh, this is when I no longer know exactly what I'm gonna do, and uh, but it, it seems like Everyone was uh, pretty, pretty uh, much in agreement on the fact that I need two archer troops. Uh, because, as I stated last episode, and as I've, I've learnt these last couple episodes, uh, archers really are the MVPs of this game. So, uh, other than Wyman, I'm going to bring either Lucan or, who we got over here, Eldred. Uh, they're both uh, elite, uh, and Eldred has that heavy load, which I thought, here's the catch... I thought that let me use uh, this volley twice, but it turns out heavy load doesn't actually work 
uh, on abilities that are time-based, like, like, you know, that have a cooldown, only works on items and other abilities that don't have a cooldown, that, that are just one-time use or twice uh, per island. So that means Eldred doesn't really have an advantage in that ability, and that means of those two uh, elite archers, I am going to bring Lucan, not because of his item up here, just because of uh, his popular trait that actually is going to be helpful. So, uh, well, having upgraded all of these four troops already to, uh, to elite status, I guess I'll start upgrading the volleys here. Lucan has a, a volley, but it's not fully upgraded, so I'll buy an upgrade for that. Other than that, what could I upgrade? Wyman is fully upgraded. Godric could upgrade his mines, which might be a good idea. I might have to start using mines. It's only eight, eight coins, so I'll, I'll get that. And that leaves me with nine coins. I guess I could use those nine coins for... Oh, I'm not bringing Ildred. I guess I could use those one, uh, nine coins for maybe a skill for Fergus. But no, no, I plunge... I, I mean, these, are, these islands are all flat, so there's no reason for me to buy that. So, uh, well, Godric could get the uh, Pike Charge, but uh, I don't, I don't quite feel like it. So... Ah, sure. I feel like it. Let's get that too. Two coins left. Coins well spent, I think. Now, with all that out of the way... Ooh, did I just spend five minutes on making my super troops? Sure. I did that. Let's go to Kunoi and uh, face off against these crossbow archers. And these are exactly the people I want. So, uh, let's deploy. And let's just uh, zoom all the way out. Take this cool. Just slow down if we need to and uh, see what is going to happen. I don't know what these crossbow archers look like, so I'm going to have a good look at everyone that's coming. Who's this? These are the berserkers. Who are these guys from the other side? These are just normal normal shield wielders. <laughs> and then the... Let's get some people down there. And then... Well, actually, shield wielders, I'll want pikes. Yeah. Uh, in here? No, they're, they're, they're gonna be going for the closest house, aren't they? So I think I should place my people right there. Now, everyone get into position, start shooting. Good, good, very good. And uh, I guess I'll move people over here too. No, that is fine. All good. Now, these are shield people. I'll place my pikes over here, I guess. And uh, give them some... Uh, back up from the side. Actually, from right over here will be perfect backup. And these guys are... Okay, I guess I'll... I'll... These are a lot of berserkers from this side, so I'll bring all of my archers over there. And then I'll start shooting with Lucan. Oh, that went, that went well. Sh shooting with Lucan's uh, on these incoming shield guys. Perfect! Okay, so here we've got some big guys, I guess. Uh... A perfect troop to just deal with those alone would be would be my pikes but but I mean uh, sure I'll, I'll start shooting if no one else is coming I'll shoot at them too uh, move some archers over there maybe maybe they're closer when they're there I don't know Ah, so here comes some more people are these also big guys no no these are archers these are crossbow archers okay get everyone out of the way this is what I've learned that I have to have to do with crossbow archers. They've got, they've got uh, bows that are so strong that I, not even the infantry are safe. So I'll move the infantry. I'll move everyone out of there. They've also got a lot of reach, I think. I don't know. These these look pretty big. I don't know which troop is going to be the best against them, but I'm guessing it's going to be infantry. So I'm going in with infantry. I'm going in. Wish me luck. Let's see how it goes. Not very well. Nah, okay, I lost a couple a couple folks. I'll make them replenish. But I think, all in all, I don't know. Uh, was that a success? I don't know if that was a success. Let's place people down here. Haven't deployed any mines yet. I don't know if that is going to be uh, important. Okay, let's get these archers uh, over to the side. Actually... Get, yeah, get, get, the, get everyone behind these pikes. Pikes, all good. 
Now, so here come a bunch of berserkers. We know what to do about those. Get our get our uh, archers over there. Oh, and the infantry is ready to deploy. Good, good, good. I feel like this is all going swimmingly. All the risk are cal risks are calculated. And that wave is also over with. Now who's coming? These are shield guys. I'll try and, uh, sure, I'll try and knock them off their boats before they even get here. Oh, and here come some berserkers as well. I'll try and knock them all off their boats. I'll try and get Wyman closer to the berserkers so he can start pummeling those. Come on, start shooting at the berserkers, guys. And there they all go. Okay, as soon as they started shooting at them, they were all gone. And uh, who are these now? Uh, these, ber I think, these sound like berserkers. No, these are archers. Okay, I'll get my infantry ready over there. Actually, get my green archers over here. Get my, get, get Wyman all the way over here. Wyman, start taking care of these berserkers. And these bow archers should be. Oh, they actually are shooting, shooting over. No, uh, archers, broken. Don't go down there. Okay, uh, fine. I think everyone is surviving. And there we go. That was the final archer to be dealt with. I didn't see what went on over here, but it seems like Wyman survived. So that is good. And a lot of coins down my pocket. Perfect. So here are the new troops. Kind of hunchback helmet. And they've got like a weird Teletubby uh, little... Uh, I don't know, horn on, on the front of their... Like, they, they've got antennas on the on the top of their heads. I don't know what they're supposed to look like. It's kind of like the straight things that the Berserkers have, except they look more stupid and not very fit for battle. Okay, so now we know what they look like. Do I want to go to Scapley? Well, I mean, the only difference is there, there's more water and it's less... This seems more defendable, to be honest. With all these little choke points and bottlenecks, um, you know, that the uh, lakes and inlakes give me. I don't know if inlake is the right word, but little lagoons and everything. And peninsulas, this seems more defendable. And there are also a lot more coins there, but of course these uh, axe throwers are going to be coming as well. So that might make things harder for me, but honestly, this didn't go half as bad. It didn't even go a third as bad. Oh, Kunoi, right here as I had anticipated, so I'm feeling confident now that I can uh, go and do Scatly as well. Let's regenerate, uh, replenish, whatever, get all our troops back. Now before we go to Scatly, I just want to mention something. Uh, first of all, shout out to my... Uh, <laughs> shout out to my commenters, my regular commenters. Uh, Dave Kaufman, I don't... I've, I, I have noticed that I usually give a lot of credit to Vincent Shing, but I really enjoy uh, chatting with you in the comments as well. I really enjoy both of you being there. So I, I, I just wanted to say that, uh, shout out to both of you, but especially, or not, not least at least, Dave Kaufman, even though I don't mention you as much. You give me, uh, you give me good feedback, and you, uh, you give me, I don't know, motivational speeches. Also, everyone, go check, go click the link that's in the corner of the screen right now to go check out Dave Kaufman's uh, Let's Play of this game. He is, well, so far he's two episodes in, and uh, but he, he gets a lot more done in each every episode that I do. So uh, if you want to look at his strategy, which is actually a lot different than mine, uh, which I think is interesting, go look at that. Uh, now. Uh, let's go to the next island. I'll, I'll talk more at the end of the video. For right now, it's time for some more fighting, don't you think? I'm feeling confident. Let's go. Or uh, we could upgrade. Uh, sure, let's uh, do a quick upgrade. We could upgrade this volley. Sure, 14 coins. We could upgrade... Uh, nah, don't... Nah. Could upgrade Godric. Godric's mines. 14 coins. Hmm. I feel like these mines might be real helpful. Might be. I don't know. Lu I, I know that this volley is going to be helpful, so why not just use the 14 coins to fully upgrade uh, Lucan as well. Now all we've left to upgrade is Fergus's plunge, which I might not even want to upgrade. Uh, that, that depends on how vertical of an island. You need a, a hill to use this, so it depends on how vertical the last island is. But the only thing I've left to, to uh, really go full in on is are these mines and then this charge here. 
uh, which is also th something I haven't really used much, the charge. Anyways, let's go to Scap Lee. And here we are. Everyone is coming for this party. Well, everyone except for the big guys, the big gray brutes. I guess in their place, we're getting the crossbow archers that kind of look like them. Anyways, this is the island we're dealing with. I don't think there is much to, to really uh, deliberate on, whatever, think about before we go in. So let's deploy. Have a look at who is coming first. These are the people. Are these just a bunch of single wielders? It looks like we're dealing with a bunch of single wielders. So uh, let's get all of our... Well, let's, let's just get, get everyone over there. Wait, they're not actually even coming for this corner of the of the screen. I misread that. But uh, sure, I'll I'll keep I'll keep Wyman over here. He's hitting them at least, and he's out of the danger zone, right? And there they all go. Now, who else is coming from the east? I guess. Who are these? More of the same, it seems. Let's uh. Let's try and have... I don't know, I don't think these archers are gonna be trying... No, I, I think, I, I, I'll hide my... i hide Wyman and his archers behind these infantry. And, uh, uh, sure, like this and like that. Nobody gets hit by these boats, please. Oh, okay, people got hit by the boats. Fergus got hit, but it's gonna be okay. Uh, now Wyman... Uh, sure, I'll, I'll send him replenishing. Uh, he's only lost a couple of people, so that won't won't be very... Oh, people coming from up here. Aha! Don't you think I haven't noticed you? Where are they going in land, though? Over here. Okay. Let's see if Lucan can do this all on his own. Actually, Lucan, you just go... You, you go up here. I think... Uh, I think Godric will be able to, to take care of these single wielders. Look at that, there's only five people. Of course, of course Godric will be able to do that. Okay, so here. Here come the challengers. Okay, so these. What, one of, just a single, one single crossbow archer. This might throw a spanner in all of my works. Because I'll have to hide from this crossbow guy. For I'll have to hide from him. Uh, can I put a mine? I can put a mine right there. Let's do that. Let's also put a mine right here. And then let's get Fergus out of the way. Let's get these archers out of the way, too. And, uh, well, let's get everyone out of the way. Even the infantry. And Wyman, who's coming out of the house now? Sure, yeah. He's, he's gonna have to get out of the way, too. Pronto. Whoa! Okay. Uh, are they not even gonna set off my mines? They might not even... Ah, uh, okay. I, I don't want to move in my... Oh, come on. This ar this one crossbow archer is... Oh, no. <laughs> I just, I just want to get to kicking some ass. Kicking some people's butts. And we've got crossbow archers coming in. I, I should have brought more... Oh, no. This is not good. Not good. These... Godric can't handle this on his own. This... I... Whew. Godric, he will have to flee. I think I might have to flee from this island, just in, just in general. Flee from this island right now. Uh, yeah, yep, yep. That's what I'm, that's what I'm gonna do. No, not, don't, actually, actually, maybe not, maybe don't flee. I don't know, I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. That didn't hit anything. Uh, 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 okay, maybe I can hit this guy? Sure, yep. Oh, oh boy! No, don't get this guy out of there right now. Uh, sh Warhorn, right there. I'm just fleeing now. I'm, I'm getting out of here. Flee on that boat. You flee on this boat. Everyone, get out. No! Oh, I hope this archer doesn't start. Okay, uh, if he's going for those guys, I think I'll be okay. Everyone flee! Okay, one, one troop successfully fled, two troops successfully fled. Well, these... <laughs> this is interesting. That's gonna be a thumbnail of some sort. This is interesting. I just fled right past these incoming ships. Okay. Okay, I wasn't able to handle that. Oh, now I don't feel so good about these crossbow archers. One came... 
What really got me good was one of these crossbow archers came on its own along with two huge boats of the single wielders and I didn't know what to do. I needed to get away so this crossbow archer didn't shoot me while it was coming in but I also needed to start shooting at these single wielders before they got here. I thought, I tried, I honestly really tried, you saw me try to blow these up with the mines but I couldn't just have the mines be where these boats were coming in because then then the boats would just blow them up and they wouldn't actually do anything. Uh, it was a mess. I really tried, though. Uh, feel free, by all means, to, to tell me what I should have done. For now, I'm continuing, uh, t c continuing to somewhere else, I guess. At least no one died, right? I mean, that in that in that sense, it was a success. I guess I learned something. Maybe I don't know. I'll have a chance to. You know, hear you out. What do you think I should have done? Was there anything I could have done? Hopefully this same thing doesn't happen on Vermland. But in the case it does, I'll have to have some kind of strategy ready. I don't know. Maybe... Maybe that... One single crossbow archer really was just... I was just supposed to get him with my archers and just sacrifice some archers to get him. I don't know. He, he has a lot of health though. So... Uh, uh, this hurts my mind. There must be some kind of strategy I can employ when a crossbow archer comes along with a lot of other troops. So please tell me what that thing is, and I will try to deploy that on the island of Vermland next episode. The final episode. <laughs> I hope my last stand will have a positive conclusion. Anyways, this has been Hamfrax playing Bad North. I won't be recording the next, the next episode before I get your feedback. So, uh, sleep tight. What? So don't, don't you worry. That's what I'm trying to say. Have a nice day, and bye-bye. Oh, and before you go, I mentioned during the video that I was going to say something, but I forgot to say it during the recording, so here I am in the outro. I wanted to, to tell you guys about my future plans for this series, and maybe, yeah, for my channel as a whole, because I don't think it'll be going on... Um, for the next couple of months. I am going abroad, as I said in the comment on uh, on the last video. I am going to the United States, uh, and I'm going to California to do some um, voluntary work. So, uh, so that'll be exciting. I'm going to be going out to different uh, national parks. I I'm very excited about it, uh, but I'm, that's not what I'm going to tell you about. I just want to tell you about my plans since I'm going away for two months. They're not going to be any videos for two months, and I, frankly, I don't know if they're going to be any videos after that, because this, this, this whole channel is not monetized. I don't have enough viewers. You know, you're, you're only two people watching this, or at least commenting on this. Uh, I appreciate that, but this is just a passion project. I don't make money off of this, so I'm not sure whether I will return with more episodes of anything after this break. Uh, so, if not... It has been a pleasure to, to make these videos for you. No, do know that I have really been enjoying uh, making these videos and getting the feedback from you guys these last couple of months. I really enjoyed it. But wh why am I sounding like I'm already going away? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm still staying for this last episode and who knows, maybe after that, I'll do a small little playthrough of a little, maybe two hour game, maybe four episodes. I still got some time until I'm going. I don't know if maybe things will get more hectic up until the, uh, the, uh, what, what, what do we call it? Uh, the, until I'm going, until I actually do the traveling, you know? Uh, so, the departure, departure, that's the word. I'm rambling at this point, and this has been well over 20, 20 seconds, which is what these outros usually should be in order for the end cards to show up properly. So um, I am just going to leave you with that. Uh, so I'm going away. There are not going to be any more series with Bad North or anything on this channel for the future. That is all. Bye-bye. <laughs>